was recorded on the 13th of March this year. We are now three months, isn't it, into the COVID pandemic since that first case. The number of positive cases that we have unearthed in the country have continued to rise. While there are countries in other parts of the world that have so far hit their inflection peaks, infection peaks, experts suggest that Kenya and indeed many countries in Africa may now be inching towards their peaks. As the virus continues to spread in our country, our appeal to our people remains that to curtail the spread of the virus, we must adopt a higher level of individual responsibility. Each and every one of us must accept to do their part and observe the containment measures and regulations as advised by the government. Strict, strict adherence demands that we socialize less to reduce our chances of contracting the virus. Let's think of it this way. The more we restrict our movements or stay at home, the less we are exposing ourselves and the more we are protecting our families and our loved ones. This has worked for others. It can also work for us. Observing these measures, of course, comes with a cost to all of us. It's not easy. We have to give up many of our freedoms and desires. The slowdown of the economy has also affected each and every one of us. And in certain cases, it has adversely affected those of us who are vulnerable and need to live from day to day. These are sacrifices we have to make and bear with until the spread of the virus is sufficiently contained. We have consistently informed you that the virus is now firmly established in our communities. This reality is supported by the numbers we record every day. Let's take a reflection on the data that we have gathered so far. 3,106 out of the 3,457 confirmed cases are local transmissions. This means that local transmissions from this cumulative number account for 89% of the cases. If we look at the counties, in terms of the number of confirmed cases, cumulatively, Nairobi leads with 1,546, accounting for 44.7% of the total number of confirmed cases. Mombasa follows with 1,020, approximately 30% of the total cases. And we are now seeing Busia move on up to third place with 308 cases, or approximately 9% of the total cases. We have other counties that follow, Kajado, at about 3% of the cases. And we are also seeing increasingly more and more of our counties joining the ranks of those counties with confirmed cases. As of today, we have 38 out of the 47 counties have reported COVID-19 cases. This, you can see, is only a matter of time before all the counties report positive cases. Of course, this is a worrying trend that requires serious interventions at all levels. In fact, 
you can see that the inf community transmission is now moving, moving out of the metropolitan areas, urban and peri-urban areas, and is moving into the counties. Hence, the need for the country to respond to this pandemic as one. That means the national government and the devolved units need to work together in order to control this pandemic. As a ministry, we have worked and will continue to work very closely with county governments to upscale the level of preparedness at the county levels. Indeed, a lot of work has been done to upscale the county level preparedness. Most of the counties now have dedicated isolation and treatment centers for COVID-19. This is important because it creates room for other non-COVID-19 cases to be managed in separate facilities. I want to thank the counties, the county governments for this achievement and to appeal to them to do even more as we anticipate an upsurge of infections in the coming days.